You know what? That's a great question. As I've been working with some of the organizations out there, one of the greatest things that I have been asked as of late has been, how do I help the next level of folks take on a leadership role? What are some of the things that we can do within our organization? And this goes with any sales organization, really. But what are some of the things that I can do that we can do to help us position, you know, let's just say the bench, right? To build the bench of leaders, right? You know, what came to mind was an acronym that I created many moons ago, which is PACE, P-A-C-E. Now, what does that mean? To me, pace has a sense of time, right? Something that's consistent, right? So it kind of gives me a quick understanding of what I'm looking for. Now, when it comes to leadership, what you want to do is you want to pace. Now, what's the first thing with pace? Well, first you want to identify who's ready for that next level, right? And as you see that they're ready for the next level, you want to be able to identify or be able to prescribe. That's the P. You want to be able to prescribe what it is that you're expecting that they achieve, Meaning you want to articulate and prescribe the expectation that you're looking for. Whatever the task may be at hand that you're prescribing them the action to take, the activity to be done, right? So that's important. And that's P. The A to me stands for advise, right? You want to advise them along the way so long they're seeking that intelligence from you. So long they're seeking that information, okay? So you want to advise them along the way. Now, advice okay, is you giving them strategy or maybe articulating an idea or two in order of how to accomplish whatever the said activity might be, right? The C, and you're probably not going to use every letter with every single person that you're bringing along the way. But as you think about it now, the C stands for collaborate. So you want to collaborate with them. Now, what does that mean? Some folks really want to get down and dirty with you. And that's okay, right? So long that you're asking an activity of them that maybe is challenging or a little bit above what they're typically used to, right? Because it's all about progress. So when they find themselves in situations where they're going to need some additional support, what you want to do is you want to be able to collaborate with them. Allow them to see that you're willing to roll up the sleeves and work with, look at that tan line, roll up the sleeves and work with them to the execution of said activity, okay? That it's not just, I'm here, you're there, right? Because in leadership, it's not about hierarchy and hiding. It's about improving and growing. It's about team effort, right? It's about being a selfless leader, right? So now the last letter, which is one that we must do across the board, is E, which stands for empower. Because if you collaborate, but you do the work through and through, then all you're doing is saying without saying is you're not ready. I know what I want you to do. I know how to get it done. You're not ready to get it done. So let me step in and do it for you. And trust me, they're not going to be any further along the way of success when it comes to leadership if you're doing it for them. So again, prescribe, advise, be there to advise them, be ready to collaborate when the collaboration is much needed, but always empower them to get it done. Because if you choose to do it for them, trust me when I tell you, they're going to be excited that it's done. But at the same time, they're going to feel like, ah, I guess I wasn't ready enough. I guess I'm not good enough. I guess I can't get it done. I'm not smart enough. And trust me, folks, you don't want to do that. You want to empower them. Okay. And this is how I also deal with my children, right? It's all about empowering them so that they feel and they get the necessary skills needed to feel like they're able to get it done themselves. And that's progress and progress equals happiness.